Welcome to the episode today. In today's episode, I want to talk about this console, this audio console. This right here. If you're not into audio or production, I'm sorry, but I, I really want to talk about this console right now. Um, so, this is what's called a digital console. Um, can you actually, can we get, I guess, I guess you can. Okay, so like, for example, let's say I'm going to make a fake mix here. I'm just going to push all these up. Okay, you can, you can, I'm just trying to look at the monitor. Alright, so you see how all these are up? It, so this is a 32 channel console. It means there's 32 microphones that could be in here and all go in at the same time. But as you see, these are not 32 faders. This is something different, but this here are not 32 faders. This is 16 faders right here. How do I get 32 then out of 16 faders? There's buttons on this side that I can press. Do you see how all those jump? Do you see that? It's, it's part of a digital console. So here is now 17 through 32, and this is one through 16. So you can get a really big console in a really small footprint. Digital has a certain sound, has certain characteristics. There are like menus you have to go through to do certain things. Like some of these menus, I'll pull up some, put up some shots of them, can get really confusing. And um, I, when I first learned audio, I actually learned on analog, which is like those big, huge consoles you see in professional studios with all the knobs and switches and buttons, that whole thing. And for a few years now, I've been trying to search for, well, I've, tri I've, been, I've been looking at consoles. I've been looking at going back to analog because it has that sound. It has that feel. It feels like you're going to reach for a knob rather than going through a menu and turning a knob. Like, it, it, it just, it's kind of like driving stick shift versus automatic. Some people just like stick shift. Um, and for a few years, I've been on the hunt for, like, one of my one of my favorite companies, two of my favorite companies, I can't even afford. They're like fifty to a hundred to a few hundred thousand dollars a console, which I obviously am not gonna buy one of those. But so I'm like, man, what if I just bought the console that I learned off of? Like, what if I just bought that? And so I, I I'm I'm looking at one. I actually uh, I put an offer down. They accepted my offer, which is really exciting. Um. And so I, it's a big console, it's 83 inches long, which is like seven, just under seven feet. Um, as you can see, this is obviously not seven feet at all. Um, so, and the console weighs about 300 pounds. So I have to rent a U-Haul or find someone with a truck. I have to get at least two more people than me and maybe a fourth person over to Tampa, which is like a two hour drive, so we're gonna be in a car for like four to five hours. Then we have to find a way to bring it up the stairs, that's like up here, into here. We have to find a way to rip this out, which Cole can help me. We can find a way to, we have to find a way to rip this out. We have to find a way now to get that console up on this desk, and then we have to wire it all together. And the crazy part is, is I'm gonna do something what's called a hybrid mixing. I'm kind of doing hybrid mixing right now, not really, but it's going to be like true hybrid mixing because that console that's fully analog, made in like the mid 90s, is going to have to go through a computer. It's going to, all that, all those channels, all 48 channels have to go into a computer by themselves so I can open up Pro Tools and have 48 channels. And uh, in here I only have 32 mics but 42 channels giving me some more leeway to more different things and okay, whatever. I, I'm really excited to, ha to go back to my roots, to go back to my old stomping grounds of this is what, like this is why I got into audio, I love it. And, and the faders, like these, are, these here are what you call faders, these feel so different on an analog console versus a digital console. The EQ on here is three knobs and then you have to select like, if I want to like EQ the kick drum, I have to like select the different styles of EQ and where it is and I get three knobs. But on an analog console, you get a whole channel strip that you can just, there's no menus, which is just, I, I miss that. You have an old VU meter, the little needle, that, I miss all that. So in this episode, I want to talk about it like I'm really planning on going back to my old roots. And I really think that's going to be a great vlog to make that to, to get this console and for me to 
touch it and get back to my, it's not the exact console I learned off of, but it's the same make and model. Actually, no, it's the model, right? Is it the model above or under? It's either the model above or underneath. It might not be the exact same one, but it's like dead close. It's like, okay, you might not get, you know, the exact stick shift you wanted, but it's the same, it's Toyota, but just maybe not the same exact model, but it's the same feel, like, it's like that. And I'm really excited. Really excited. I'm gonna pull up some pictures of the console that I saw online. So, um, I'm excited. I, it's just one of those audio things. It's just an audio thing. So, um, okay, anyways, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. All the audio guys who watch this channel, I'm pumped. All the video guys, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about, and everyone else is probably just like, shut the hell up, dude. I'll watch tomorrow. So, anyways, I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Alright, so excited.